This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style. Paradise, Louisiana is presented by Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance, Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Pods, moving and storage, solved. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, and by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to the first week of spring of Paradise, Louisiana. KD? Hey, bud, we're down in Bajurals in Port Allen. And speaking of Bajurals, with all the great stuff going on, springtime coming, it's going to be a great show. But you know what? Let's revisit something. Y'all remember that Emerge Center's Angling for Autism? Guys, look at this. I'm getting ready to beautify your screen. Put it in front of my face. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine 68,000 plus raised? Amazing event. Y'all stay tuned. KD, we got coming up. I made a visit to Louisiana High School qualifier and by you said that. 200 and something boats. 200 and something. I just went over the 200 mark. It had so many teams and family people there. It was packed. It was unbelievable. Pelican Sports TV or KPBN is going to cover this one and the next two tournaments that are coming up in, in April. Going to go all the way to the finals in, in Toledo Bend. So awesome. want to give them a shout out for covering that and bringing it to the people all over the state. That's the fastest growing thing coming up right now. So also we're going to revisit the Louisiana Sportsman Show. And uh, also had a, we had another interview with the Louisiana Sportsman Coalition. Still waiting. By the way, I'm still waiting on to get something from the lawyer from the Landowners Association. We're going to be bringing you both sides, three sides, or whatever you How want. How many sides is And then to you it. make your own decision. we got a lot of things coming up in the news. Hey, y'all stay tuned. we got a wheelbarrow full coming right at you. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Voted best of Louisiana outdoors three years in a row. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. 36 years, Chef KD, Louisiana Legends, been taking care of family, business, just whatever it is, a party we have a minimum of one, no maximum. Call us, we will prepare all our foods, no MSG, direct for you. ChefKD.com will hook you up. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Now is the time to join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club. New memberships start at just $9.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Take advantage of this introductory offer at one of Benny's seven locations. Hey, welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Gary, the future of our outdoors, especially bass fishing, is happening with junior high and the high school divisions of BASS, and you covered it this weekend, so take off. Yeah, I, I helped cover it, but uh, you see the people out there, and to see the job they did, and sitting at that park, that's the only one that I ever know. They had to open on Sunday, but that park is juice. You know, state parks are one of our sponsors, and I can see why they want us to visit a lot of parks. So pretty soon we're going to be going to Toledo Bend. They got San Miguel going to yep. be there. That's another state park. It is unbelievable what the state is doing on a limited budget. So I'm going to give a shout out to them. But the shout out has got to go to those high school teams that are putting this together. And your good friend, Gene, is the president of that. And Mr. Gene Hoover. Yep. What's your damn his name? We're going to call him Houston Eugene Hoover. Who's the Julian Hoover? That's him. Boy, I'm telling you, I'm tell you he gives a lot. That, he gonna, gives a lot. I'm gonna have to sing that song to him, you know. <laughs> well, I'm a lonesome in this old town. That's what I'm gonna do to him. You man. go I'm ahead. You go ahead. I'm glad you told me that. But let me tell you what, the bros, 
Jim and Cindy and, and Gene's wife and all them crew out there, they do a tremendous job. KD, the host teams were Hanville. And look, they had them over there, our good friends, uh, Mr. Bruce McDonald and right. all his crane, all the games were over there at Hanville. They were the host, host team. Find the jambalaya, two pots of jambalaya, and kids, the 200 boats that were coming off, and their families, everybody had something to eat or drink, and everything that was over there. The big tent, Pelican Sports, by the way, you know, they covered this thing. They had their big truck there. <laughs> Even one of them had a little car trouble. But let me tell you what, these can be aired on as people that want to watch an our show. The next two weekends coming up on Thursday at 9 p.m., Friday at 9 p.m., then Saturday and Sunday is going to be 12 noon. Okay, so 12 noon, and they're going to run back to back. The same show back to back. So you're going to have about four hours of coverage. And it's two weekends in a row. This coming weekend, Easter weekend, and the following weekend, you see it on PelicanSportsTV.com and also on Pelican KPBN. Wherever you're at, on Cox, it's 113, and it's, uh, I think it's 10, 6, 1013, and then 116 in New Orleans. Lafayette's also in uh, 1013. So That's you can see them all over. Can on you U-verse, imagine? 200, right at 50 boats, two anglers and a parent, and they kept that organized. Let, let, let That's me, more than BASS. I run around with my camera. I was watching them coming in. By the way, I got to mention these sponsors because, you know, everybody, they want to see their kids and everything, but these people stepped up. Jay Dykes, that's his grand, his grandson, the Innsmaker boy, who was on the team at Central at right. one. Uh, Delta Lewis, Fred King and his partner, I'm telling you what, they've been doing so much, giving baits out, giving, making donations and helping these. These kids are coming up. And you know, they got a lot of bait manufacturers, a lot of my sponsors, and they all step up. That's right. I'm telling you what, but, but the, Fred has stepped up in a big time. He was out there giving demonstrations, showing them their baits. One of the hottest baits right now, that Thunder Jig. Oh, yeah. You know yourself and I, you and I are fishing. <laughs> you see me fishing. But, but as, as to what he does and why they're jumping up, the biggest one out of all of them, so guess who? Spear Bait and Tackle. He's been there and they do the Pro Bass Challenge, Mark Spear Matthews. Bait and Tackle. And the number one big sponsor is Cajun Outboard. Stepped up big time, not only for this tournament, but for the next two tournaments and thank them. And look, when he says step up, they putting up the money to get everything you see and on the air to watch these kids. But I tell you what, there's a lot of coming up in high school. We're going to bring it to you. Pelican Sports TV is going to be bringing it to you. And uh, let's, let's go see some sights and sounds. This is a qualified by you sitting at State Park. Tell me your name, where you from, babe? Uh, I'm Jenna Prince, and we're from Sulphur, Louisiana. Sulphur High School. Connor? Connor Peterson. Alice, you, you're a great duck caller. You've been state champion many times. Three times, exactly. How you, how you figure into this bass fishing? How does it stack up against your duck calling and duck hunting? Uh, I love them both, but I have to lean a little more to bass fishing. Go here. Yes, sir. You, you're going to be state champion this year, then? I'm going to try. I'm trying my very best. fishing for a long time, but this is our first year on the team. Your first tournament? Yes, sir. That's great. Congratulations. What grade y'all in, Sam? Uh, ninth. So glad to see y'all. Who caught that big fish today? Him. He did? What you caught it on? Um, I caught him on a paddle tail fluke on a underspan. Well, what area y'all fishing? You know this area at all? No, sir. No, sir. We just... What kind of water y'all found? A lot of muddy water? Y'all found No, sir. Water? We found some clear water. Yeah. How far did y'all run? Um, 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, Tanner, congratulations. So far, it's big fish. Yes, sir. Hope Thank it you. holds up. My name is Bo Gautreau. I'm from Piapart, Louisiana. My name is Cooper Murray. I'm from Pankerville, Louisiana. Yeah. Where were y'all fishing? Across Lake Salvador. 
y'all found some grass? Uh, yeah, the water uh, was clear? Yeah, we had found grass, rocks, and we had some cocktails. We were flipping in cocktails. Yeah. Did y'all practice much? Uh, Friday. All day Friday, we went out there and we found them. That's and great. You, is that when you found them? Yes, sir. And we let them sit Saturday, and then we went back today, and they were still there, luckily. We caught them. Yeah. That's a good string. What was your best bait? Uh, speed car, black and blue. Black and Did y'all catch any numbers? Oh, <laughs> we caught at least 20 something. 30. 20 something fish today, sir. And good. they were all y'all gonna take too. me? Sir? Yeah, y'all take me. I'm ready to Whenever go. Whenever you're ready. Let's go. Good Let's off the boat right now. All right. Good. Thank y'all. Uh, hey, guys. Big Mike. Hello. Hello. Dawson Andrews. Wyatt Ensminger. Guys, y'all did it again. Y'all got the crowd all stirred up right here. Yes, sir. Fifteen something pounds. Five pound big bass. Y'all, we still got a bunch of people to weigh in. <laughs> I didn't, 200 yes, boats and y'all still shine. Yes, sir. Y'all defending state champions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we got two more tournaments after this. Y'all just been hot. Yes, sir. Where were y'all fishing today? We were, it was by the Penn Canals. Yes. We were near the pen fishing some camp canals. We found one that was real hot early in the morning. In the yes, sir. That is amazing. Three point five and uh, you said the frog was your best bait? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. big fish bait? Yes, sir. We had all five fish by 9.30 this morning, and we started culling right then. And the biggest one came on a frog. Y'all caught numbers? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We probably yep. caught 15 fish today. Yeah. Called. Talked to the other boys, and they had 20, 20, 25, sir. Fish being caught there, wind bothered y'all? Uh, we were pretty secluded from the wind in, our, in that canal we was in, but we had a steady breeze going straight down it, created a wind current, and it really helped the bite. Congratulations, and that's all I can say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Tell you what a turnout tonight for, for the Bass a High School Tournament. Here's the president, and here's the guy on the speaker, the guy that started all this over there at the Southwest Junior Bass Masters Jim Bro. Mr. Hoover, we'll start with you first. You've got to be excited. I see your vice president over there weighing fish. Over 200 boats today. You've got to be proud. It was unbelievable, Gary, the turnout we had. It's just this high school sport is growing. We started this eight years ago with five kids. Now we're up over 100 in our junior program. And to see them graduate and go on into the high school, this is our future. These are our future parents fishermen and our heritage, Garrett, you're, you're very, very right, and we're so glad, glad to have this going on. Cindy and I call it a labor of love. Yeah. And Mr. Gary's being modest, but since we started, and since this high school fishing, the Junior Bass Masters, Paradise, Louisiana has always been there. They've been there every year. Anything we've asked, uh, Gary will go out of his way to get it for these kids. We can't thank him enough. Well, it wasn't Eight myself. Years. It wasn't myself. Joe McAloose is the same thing. Joe said it about the future, but once before, Don Dubuque, all those people that always worked me, now I got KD. You can watch Paradise, Louisiana, you're going to see a high school fishing, and especially the young ladies. Bunch of young ladies out here today. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Thank you again to the State Park for what y'all do. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. I'm Bo Captain Bobby Lynn. And I'm Drew Ornicell. And you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Pause moving in storage. We just sold our house. Congratulations. We have two weeks to move. We'll deliver a few containers. Our new home's not ready. No problem. You can store things with us while you're between homes. We might need help. We'll refer trusted packers. We'll be staying at my brother's. Well, that sounds... He has kids of his own. Well... Five of them. Ma'am? Help. Trust us for local and long-distance moving and store at our storage centers. Pods. Moving in storage. Solved. Hey, welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Anthony Buqua, Daryl Carpenter, and somebody calling in to let us know they interested in House Bill HB 391. All right, Louisiana Coalition. What does that mean? The Louisiana Sportsman's Coalition was formed 
two years ago strictly for the fact to protect the public's rights to access of the water. Now, am I correct in saying that you, Louisiana is just a little bit different than the other 49 states? Uh, we're a lot different on the other 49 states. I mean, the other 49 states, pretty much you can access if it's flowing, ebb and flows with the tide or running water, the public has the rights to be on it because the water itself is owned by the public. It's not owned by anybody. Um, there's water, it's really water bottoms. Um, that is the issue. That makes sense. And all the other states have addressed it, and the water bottom issue is separate from the water issue. You know, here yeah. in Louisiana, it's not. Now, Dow, we've had a lot of uh, financial repercussions from this with some of the major freshwater circuits refusing to come into Louisiana. Uh, you know, the history of our charter services and all, we have a prolific guide business. Uh, what's going to be the impact of this if we keep losing access? Well, as the coast moves north, I mean, it, it is a unique problem, but because of Louisiana's conflicting laws and conflicting statutes on it, as the coast moves north, basically all you're going to have is open water. Without our estuaries and all that, that we talk so much about, without those being accessible to the public, it's, what's the use of having them? Now, you say open water, but just because it becomes open water does not mean it's going to be public access. Isn't that kind of the gist of where we're at now? Well, that's, that's part of the problem. You see, the, the landowners like to come in and they claim, they claim mass areas that, that are now you know, private in their eyes. And, and we want to stipulate and separate land and water, as Anthony explained, are two separate things. They're two separate entities. What, what we found is once it erodes to nothing but a wide open bay, in a lot of cases, they've washed their hands of it. Well, it's worthless to us anymore. But it's all of the, the other marsh areas, uh, all of your canals, your smaller bays, your bigger bays, you know, the, as they start getting bigger, they're, they're claiming them as, as private and they just, they're refusing access to it. But, you know, they, and, and they like to quote, part of the argument is they like to quote, well, you've got all this other property you can go, or other water you can go fish. No, you can't because it's become a waste, just a wasteland, a barren. I mean, during the summer, the trout move to the, to the coast. So yeah, you can go fish beaches and all, all summer long. The weather lets you, the fish are there. But our, because they've allowed this land to erode and open up, our fish's migration patterns move up into this land. You know, and that thing is all of us. You know, the erosion is not a problem we can stick on any one person. I've heard every argument you can hear about it. And uh, all of them hold a little bit of weight, all right? So the bottom line is we're where we're at today. We have a situation that you just, you know, we talked about this earlier. Our kids and grandkids, we want access. We want this to be That's something correct. that makes sense. And guys, we don't want to step on anybody's toes. Everybody has a right to the freedom of what they believe in and do. But something tells me if 49 states are one way and we're another way, we need to address this. And we need to do it in the legal format. So, uh, and you know, KD, I'd like to make a statement about the Louisiana Sportsman's Coalition. Nowhere in our start or what we're trying to do, the ownership of the water bottom is nothing that we're concerned about. Um, that is, I mean, they own it. That's their water bottom. It is only the access to the water on the top that we HB, is HB 391 is an attempt by Representative Pearson to start addressing that issue and to start and to try to start working out all the Louisiana, Louisiana's conflicting laws and separate the ownership of flowing water from the water bottoms. And part of the confusion you hear now is there's some of those conflicting statues that, that allow the, the water to be attached to the water bottom as far as ownership goes. The other 49 states separate that. And that's what HB 391 tries to do. Well, guys, go online, join LASC.com. Yes, sir. Get some information, find out, become involved. And look, I'm not telling you where to stand, but this is the future of our fishing. If you don't say anything now with all that's coming up, don't be sitting there fussing after you find out that it's done and gone. So we'll have much more of this coming up. April 9th is our tentative date, but that's tentative. So get involved, join LASC.com. Anthony, Dow, thank you all so much. Hey, we'll be right back. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. In Louisiana, our state parks are the perfect family destination. With nearly 180 miles of trails through park grounds and historic sites, you can endlessly explore nature, try some kayaking or world-class fishing, then find the perfect campsite or settle into a cozy cabin. Louisiana is calling, and she's using her outside voice. 
Plan your escape today at www.lastateparks.com. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome to the Sportsman Show 2018. Fishing shirts, you got mesh all the way down the back, mesh all the way down the sides, and all the way down the arms. Great shirt, great for summer, great for doing whatever you want to do, man. Keeps you cool, keeps you dry. Dave's my first name, Richardson is the last name, just like Richardson, Texas. That's good. Yeah. Now, I'm going to get in here and we'll see what we can do. Ooh, doggies. Oh, I used to jump over this 27 years ago. I'm sure those snake poop croaks. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I got the receipt for the boots, so if they bite me through the boots, I can get my money back. That's a good thing. All right, here we go. This guy's uh, drinking water. I don't want to bother him. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put on the rattlesnake handling gloves. You can buy rattlesnake handling gloves. Any Walmart, Kmart, CVS, Walgreens. You go in there and ask them for them by name. I like the vinyl gloves. They're good. Rattlesnake handling gloves. Let's see what we got. Come here, bad snake. Come here. Yeah, man. Oh, goody. Wait a minute here. Let's see. Whoa. There we are. Yeah. You get them. Get you, real close, yeah. You see them? You can get them? That, a, that, ain't, that ain't a rabbit. That ain't a rabbit or a squirrel. Nope. No. No, he's, he's kind of... There they come. Right. come. All right, I see I these things. I see them. I see them. Come on, you gotta open him up, boy. Right there, right there. He, oh, I see he's got him close. There it is. See him kick it out. It shows he's not gonna kill me. See? That's he's... what I have to kill him. Darn it. Bring, bring it he's not kicking bring him. Bring it straight to the limb. 
Alright. Hey, you see him? Well, I see now. He, he called enough. No, this guy's alright. He's okay. He's pretty good. I in the world. You can't do that with no snake in the woods, huh? No, no, they bite you. No, he doesn't like this at all. Alright, when people ask me where I'm from, I'm supposed to say, I'm from Texas. What country are you from? But I'm from New York. What a disappointment, huh? New York. And I've been doing this 28, 27 years. Never been bitten. People say, well, if you've never been bitten, what's going to happen the first time you're bitten? I'll tell you what's going to happen. First time I'm bitten, there's going to be a rattlesnake show for sale real cheap. Diamondback rattlesnake. Maybe if you were down in Texas, if you were down in Texas, maybe about the time the sun's going down, this would be about the size Western Diamondback rattlesnake you might see. If you were down there hiking around, see, he's pretty good. He's a good snake. Well, anyway, these guys are what they call pit vipers. Pit vipers, that means they have heat-seeking membrane on both sides of their face. These membrane, they can sense heat to one thousandth of a degree. If I was to put this snake down here on the concrete and walk about 30 feet away, let's do this. Yeah. Okay. I, I need the money. You'll see when you get old. Many times, I'm not really scared. I, I took a class online how to act, act, move. All right, Gwen, right, Gwen? All right, Gwen. You're not afraid of snakes, are you, Gwen? Huh? No, I'm scared to death of them, but I need the money. Okay, stay right there, Gwen. Stay right there. Watch it. Stay there. Stay there. Whoa. Hey, go on, go on. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. Don't watch this. See, go, no, no, don't go. Don't watch this. Turn Look. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. The revolutionary way, new way to fish a soft plastic. This is the unfair lure smack shad with a little tail, swims like a little minnow. Super stretchy, super strong, 100% non-toxic. You take a circle look, put it through the nose, use a little loop knot there so that there's a free union on the hook, and about a foot and a half ahead, you take a heavy enough split shot to pull this bait down. This bait floats. The importance of it floating is the little split shot pulls them down, but this bad boy is always right in front of a fish's face. Now speckled trout, redfish, snook, etc. When they grab this bait to swallow it, they always grab a bait fish by the head. Since if you take a wiener and you peg toothpicks in it and you swallow it the wrong way, it's like, it's like Ahmed the dead terrorist that doesn't go down too good. So this little bait over here, you put, we need bass or the trout or whatever swallows them, you take some head first, you have your circle look, which by the way is pretty weedless because the point's behind the eye. You catch them in the corner of the mouth, release that fish, put them in the, in, in the, in the ice box, whatever, cast the bait out again and catch another one. I want to show you folks a bait. Show me one other jerk shad on the market that's got 57 trout and redfish on the same bait. The eyes are still on. This is what you get from unfair lures. Fetch it out. Sorry? Fetch it out again. Like it, like it. There you go. It's all chewed up as you can see all tore up. At Unfair Lures we take the hook out of the tempering process which is raw steel and we hang a uh, split ring. Then we plate the hook so that by the time you come to hang the Unfair Lures hook which is a reverse barb cutting point hook on your lure we're not scarring the hook with a split ring where corrosion can start. 
We're way ahead of the game. These hooks are about $7.99 for a pack of 10 with an American split ring on it. Augustin, and I'm the author of the book, The Delta Duck Club. It's about um, a group of men from 1909 and 1935. The, before the Delta Refuge was in place, um, they owned this land, 40,000 acres they owned. Then in 1936, it was bought by the federal government. Now it's a refuge down in Plaquemines Parish. Jack Fisher with the Louisiana Sportsman Show. We out here in, in Gonzales at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center uh, at the Hunting and Fishing Show. It's, it's huge, there's a lot to see, a lot to do. We've got a boat show over there with about 400 boats in it. We have an ATV section with about 100 ATVs. We have tractors, we have RVs, we have 350 booths with exhibitors from all over the world. And for entertainment, we have two dog events, and we have a, a rattlesnake wrangler from Texas. This guy is crazy. This guy is crazy. We've got plenty of food out here. we got plenty of drinks out here. It's family friendly. It's an annual event. Love to see you out here at the Lamar Dixon Show. We have about 30,000 people that come out here to Gonzales. Just in case your kid didn't make it, or if you want more of it, Remember, we do it again in July in the Superdome. It can be 100 degrees and raining outside and we're inside the dome. It's a great show in New Orleans. Hope to see you there. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Hey, we've been fishing together for years as you watch the show, but I got my captain's license. I'm ready to take you out to share the kind of experience that I grew up with my family having. Give me a holler, ChefKD.com. Don't tell nobody, but we gonna cook and eat pretty good on board. See you soon. Now is the time to join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club. New memberships start at just $9.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Take advantage of this introductory offer at one of Benny's seven locations. Welcome to H&H, &H, Rodeo and Tournament Report, and, and the news right and now, because there's a lot of news going on, event calendars going on. KD, you know, we got some big events coming up I wanted to mention, don't want to miss. Uh, in April 6th, for all y'all people in the North Shore area, right. uh, the Trinity Banquet Hall at 6.30, they're going to have two of the better captains coming from that A, Mike Gallo and and. C.T. Williams, and uh, 
This is being put on. It's going to be, excuse me, it's going to be at the Caruso Boulevard, 1000 Caruso Boulevard at the Trinity Banquet Hall. And uh, they're going to have jambalaya, free jambalaya, free sandwiches, drinks, and everything going there, plus Mike Gallo, Captain C.T. Williams. Let me say one more thing about that. These Island Marina and Sue Sue Lewis and a couple of other people that are, that are back in this, y'all please show up because if you want to know the best techniques for fishing in the Pontchartrain Basin, you can't get no better than Mike Gallo and C.T. Williams. And look, it's getting ready to change because right now at the end of April and the middle of April, fish go through the transition period into their spring-summer yeah, patterns. It's that, time. And that Mississippi River the, made a lot of changes that was going on and. And we'll tell you more about it in the fish report. And another thing that's coming up, the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries are looking for your opinion again. They want to know about fish attractors. They're talking about artificial reefs and saltwater. People talk about it. You know a lot about it. You know how many times you talk about people at False River, Old River, sinking brush tops, oh, yeah. sinking Christmas trees around their piers? Well, they want your opinion. So you can go to their website. You can you can get your opinion in. It's the Fish Attractors website. Uh, another big news for people like you and I. Huh? Huh? What'd you say? The fish. Huh? <laughs> the, the, you're making fun of me again. No, old timers, the seniors. Uh, I'm uh, not uh, just Senior you. fishers. Oh, oh. Old timers. You said it a while ago. I call it a senior. You're the old timers. Yeah, the Bell River is, is postponed. I ain't going to call it canceled right now. The water is way up to the levee. Oh, no, it's got to be close I, I mean, they were five feet below the levee. We crossed the Mississippi River Bridge on Highway 190 a while ago. It's just, it's scary. It's just scary. Uh, and Dreams Come True got a sporting clays. Again, that's a big, big deal with them over there, and a lot of fun. Uh, it's in Maurice. It's a shooting range in there. You'll see the, you'll see the fly on there. And, and KD, as far as my news concerned, I'm going to turn the rodeos and back over to you. But turkey season. You know, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, that's it. March 30th to April 1st is the Youth and Physical Challenge Weekend uh, on private lands also. That's you right. know, private lands only. And then the regular season opens April 7th. You can check your brochure and you check the Wildlife and Fishing uh, website because they're going to end at different times in different areas. They, some of them go in on 22nd, right. the other on the following weekend, and go all the way to May 6th in some areas. So you used to do that. Now, any fishermen tournaments? I know we we got I got some I'm gonna give you in the fish report because they were a little local competition, but tell us what we got well, right now, on, especially on, the big one. On the news side, March 29th, CCA is gonna have their banquet out there on the West Bank. Also, every Friday night from here on out, Falls River's got their cookie jar tournament. And they go out of the Jarrow Lodge, forty dollars a boat. That's every Friday for the rest of the summer. Now, just kind of mixing it in the news, James shakes out and sent us a little thing. And guys, look, when you get to a landing, do a little courtesy and don't block the landing while you unstrap your boat. Because if we do it right, you can launch a bunch of boats. I want to throw that in because believe me, it's a pet peeve of mine. Be careful when you launch. Let's move on to some tournament reports. Fishers of men, high water, had to move to buy a test. Well, you move to buy a test, it gets tough. 34 boats competed. Carrie Bro, excuse me, Carrie Beard and Alice Perrette, 11.56 with a full 42 big bass. Guaranteed, that put them over the top. Second place, Malcolm Smith and Gary Christian, 10.92. George Valentine and Jeremy Aaron, 10.68 third place. Hard Hartley, Howard Hartley and Jared Alquay, 10.42. Alex Hines and Gary Haney, that's a fishing name from a bunch of years, yeah. 9.52. Let me tell you something. You see a lot of them down there, but what I noticed, the top four or five right now, it's almost 10 pounds. And let me tell you what, that's a two pound average. Yep. How many times you go out on a boat and catch a two pound average? Well, six weeks ago, it was a three pound average. Times are changing. Well, Water's high and fish are harder to catch. That's good then. What about the big baby? The big bass, the Bass Master Ooh, Classic. Look, can you imagine being a young man and winning that? Can you just think what that's like? Two years in a row. The second year in a row. And look, not just a little comeback. Jared, he put it together. Mr. Lee, you are Mr. Lee now. He came back for his second Bassmasters Classic win. Got that's 300000 but what that means in a the, career. You know, this is the first year we didn't have Gary Krause or somebody over there covering it and see all that. But uh, 
lives in South Carolina, and like I told you again, Austin Watts and his little buddy, they were there fishing in the high school division, and they come out second. Well, Caleb Summerall's first year out there, he got to make the class and did really good, had a, lost one big bite that really hurt him. You know, it's just tough when he hits a classic. Can't get in that top 20 the last day, whatever. All right, so that That's covers it. the tournament side. Uh, we're going to be right back with a lot more on the fishing reports because we got a basket load of fishing. Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. Aggressive, modern, and durable. The latest advancement in spinning has the Revo name on it, and almost a century of fishing expertise in it. No matter where your passion takes you, world-class fishing is only a Revo away. Welcome to Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. And let me tell you what, guys, here's a, here we got a lot of them. We're going to start at Freshwater because, uh, you know, everybody thought about the wind and stopping those people fishing on the coast. Nah. No. But let me tell you what, here we are, we got one. First one is coming from James H. Schneider. He was fishing at Rudot. He's the one that told us about it. Been courtesy Blocking of the launch. Landing. That's right. You know, it's a big thing. It used to happen in the spillway. People change. Some of them you can't put in but one at a time. And there's people at them landings make you, make you go ahead and get out. If you stop, they make you move. They we keep we you need moving. it to be time out. You get out there and you start unstrapping your boat and blocking everybody else, you go in a 30 minute time out. You can't lose your boat for 30 minutes. That's straighten that up. Maybe the sheriff said, I spent a bunch of time in time out. You and I get shot or get whipped. <laughs> I spent enough time in time out. I ain't I good as I once was. I might be good once I ever was. Oh boy, here we no, go. We don't here want we go. to fight. We don't want to fight. Look, we want to be courteous and on the water. And that's also anywhere you are on the water. You Respect. want to be courteous. Uh, James was fishing in, in, out of Rudolph, and he said he got there and it was climbed. He's finding that what they find in a lot of places, also in Pontchartrain and Marpaw, they find an algae bloom or that's a right. green glow. It looks like psychedelic looking colors right there on the water. He sent some pictures, but he caught fish. There's a lot of small fish right now, just like he's fishing. He's fishing the trees around these lakes. And he fishing different baits. He fishing spinner bait or a little bit of red worm. He fishing a little bit of red worm and his trick, well, uh, you know, on a trick bait they call them or a trick worm. Right. And they fishing or even a, uh, uh, a Texas rig. And they fishing a bright red worm. Everybody, when we first started, we were fishing that and purple worms. But that's what he's fishing. And he's fishing and fishing little jerk baits and catching fish. So I want to thank him. He got a good picture. He took him. The I-55 canal closer to the plaza, the water was cleaner, and he says the lake water was was muddy and had that neon green tint. So when you're riding in that area, you're looking for fish, don't give up. Just get away from that bad water. Just get away from it. You find clear water. Those kids did the same thing. In the Zalmas and all those areas, these, I saw them kids found them fish. They were out around Lafitte, uh, Lake Salvador, and they had reports coming from there. Go in them lakes right now, or you get them dead in canals when that water has not backed up into them yet, and they've got clean water and it's moving. So that's the secret. The good thing is that algae bloom means it's just so much fertile water. It's going to help us down the road. It just robs a lot of oxygen at the time. That's why you get away from the green water. Also, Toledo Bin, can I tell you, on fire? It is on fire. You can see some of these fish. I mean, you're talking about Rope's got one here over nine pounds. Caleb Summerall came back from fighting all that fishing that he did on Bassmaster Circuit. He is, he's got one of them there right at eight pounds. I think I saw seven pictures of fish over eight pounds in the last week on Toledo Bend. 
hottest area is kind of Mid Lake, Louisiana side. That's about all they shared because, you know, them fishermen, they had kind of tight lipped. Well, you remember last week I showed you Randy Carter? You know, they had fish them two big fish when he was a little cocky and all them boys were waiting for him. Yep. And he's, he's to be reckoned with. Now, you know, he's a saltwater fisherman, does it all. Randy is competitive. He was over there. He sent me a report. He didn't send me no pictures. But a fish to lead a bin, they had their little two day competition, construction workers and right. contractors. And then uh, the first day, uh, 10 fish, the two day tournament, the winners were 36.10 pounds Chris Landry, Drew Landry, and Chad Eastell. Second place was 28.6. That's two day total now of 10 fish. Rennie Carter, David Landry, Mark Brassett. And the big bass was day one was 6'2", Chris Landry, and guess what? Day two, 6'14", it was Rennie Carter. The winning stringer in them came from up north, and the second stringer, and that, that was Rennie and them, they were fishing Cinco's and spinner baits. They were further south. I've been getting reports from Housing Bay and Indian Mound and M.A. Playper. I also got a report from Sackalay. The guy sent me a picture, and, and uh, sent me no pictures, Send me a report. He says, guess what? There was a fleet of bend this past weekend. Grass is starting to come back in certain areas. Middle Lake, like you saying, they're getting on outside of that, that grass, and them sackler are hanging around there and them areas, fishing about five and That's, six foot of water. That may be some of the biggest sackler I've ever seen, some of the sackler coming out of Toledo Bend. Yeah, I mean, they're averaging a pound and a half and two Wait, pounds. Talking about big sackler, well, he's in flooded he didn't flooded me and Chris's <laughs> email right now. Oh, man, I'm telling you what. Mr. A. Bear and his wife, Nell, they are just burning them up in that area over there. At Don's Landing, okay, in the southwest, and at Poche's Camp, campground and Bro Bridge, they're using worms and jigs for the bass. They're using a swim. A swim? Uh, no, they're using a storm swim bait. The little two inch when catching Sackalay. I slayed a bear and, and his wife, Kel. He, he got, he must send me 15, 20 pictures. Well, and they were catching some fillets. I like that idea. Uh, no, he was getting some fillets. But I was supposed to go over. He works offshore. And in the next two weeks, you're going to see Gary Responde over there. If he keeps his word again, he's going to call me. Boy, no, don't call me after TV. it was done. But uh, that, that, it's some big Sackalay. He got one picture and he's measuring them. Foss River. You saw what, what they did over there in the tournament with those kids. Uh, Gary Krauss went back over there. He fishing with Steve Fontana. And mentioned Steve. Steve's been sending us pictures. And well, I didn't mention the tournament report because I didn't have all the winners and all of it does it. Lake and Carter had one there. Is it Booney or Boomy Shoots Memorial? The number, the number one stringer was 17 pounds. It was a team out of Faraday. Gene Andre, Steve Fontana came in second. But they sent me a report. Their report is if you're fishing over there, it came out, uh, they came out second, but their, their pattern was spinnerbait and buzzbait. So they're getting over there around those trees in Concordia and then outside. You remember I used to fish it early in the year in the spring? We used to use a dial fly on the drop off and we fished the trees. We used big topwater baits, made a lot of noise up under them trees. Oh, yeah. Dark colored topwater baits, and it's unbelievable. Jointed daughter and all of them, but. Uh, They've been catching them on buzz baits like that early and a spinner bait. And uh, by the way, another, uh, Katie, I need your help on this one now. The Kiwanis had their tournament. They sent us a bunch of jumbled stuff, nothing about it. Uh, all I can do is Steve Fontana sent me a picture. They, him, he came in fourth at the Kiwanis tournament. This is how I want it. And tell them when to send it. Hey, I know you wore out from fishing, but guys, if you want to get your news current, Take just a couple of minutes, email it, Gary at Paradise, Louisiana. Horizontal, make sure the light's in your face. How about a little bit of salt water? You well, I want to get, water, I want also water. remind them, you, you call me, you send me that email. Send it Sunday night, because we meet Monday morning sometime of the day, we're a little bit late. But hey, we get a chance to talk about it and tell it, and we won't hang well, here that After long. Monday at lunch, you didn't miss the boat. That's so, it. Okay. You got Mr. It. Chris Clark got a few. Minutes to shoot and less minutes to edit. He gets it out Monday night. By the way, we got to give a shout out to this newlywed sitting there. Chris, you sitting right there. Thank you so much for all you're doing and your responsibilities to staying on top of actually excellence. Go ahead. Give me that shoreline. Give me okay, that here we go with some salt water. water. 
Hurricane Emma finally seeing the trout starting to move in. Redfish has been crazy. Look, sheephead, any structure right now, sheephead are just thick. And not a little sheephead, I'm talking about four, five, and six pound sheephead. Talked to Captain Jack down in Delacroix. You see a couple of these pictures? He said he's never seen so many 15, 15 and a half, 15 and three quarter inch redfish. He said it's nothing to catch 40 and 50. Just, you know, you catch a few keepers, tons of them just pulling. But look, you want to talk about big fish? They are catching some huge reds right now up around Hopedale and some of the areas. Ron Lambert told me right now that they came in this morning. They were literally sore from the redfish they're catching. They're starting to catch some trout. I mentioned earlier about the transition. We just had a full moon, so you got about three weeks. That next full moon, the winter stuff is over with, and they're gonna start transitioning to the outer areas and into the open bays. And that's where you're gonna start seeing those fish easier to catch as far as we're concerned, because they're gonna be located around the rigs and around these artificial reefs you were talking about. And some of these, I tell you what, Captain Phil has got those uh, maps with the spots that are no longer visible. Get you one of those, there's a lot of trout hanging on to those. Uh, plastics, they've been doing really good. Ron said you don't need to throw anything with bait on it. Say that north wind, when that north wind blows, gangs up those reds, they literally, 9, 10 o'clock, he got 15, He fished the top water. He's got them people coming from all over the world. Him and Tofield both, and they fish in those big top water baits, and they're watching them redfish and bull reds hit the top water bait. You wouldn't believe it. It's unbelievable if you ain't never done it. I have never caught. You know the big redfish, I used to catch them on a lunker lure when they first come out when I used to be able to get in there with locker now. Right. I go back there and fish them. But look, let me, let me tell you a little good thing. You're talking about sheephead? I done had two or three pictures come in. Uh, some of them been sent in by text, so I hope I'm going to send them back to Chris. Our friend Chris Lorellis, he's done shot some video for you. Him and his friend, his girlfriend, they were over there fishing the fruits on rocks. They load the boat. They're fishing fresh shrimp, a lot of shrimp. They, load, they caught redfish and they caught a few back. But they loading the boat on those sheep heads. And he put a little note on that. It's easy to clean because you made a stomach that it might be hard to clean last week. He's picking on. So, big Chris, thank you for the picture. Uh, Grand Isle again. Tommy Vidrine and all those guys that are fishing there, fishing off the bank, to them, to them. but they fishing the rocks in there right now, and they fishing float, they fishing, they floating, you know, they uh, freelining these big shrimp uh, coming out of, out of Bridgeside Marina and that there, and they're doing it with the big old shrimp, and they freeline them. They put on a spinning rod, and they're getting it. Tommy throws that song on a regular casting rod. Well, sometimes. I do I don't too. know how you do it. I got I spinning wheels for my clients. I can throw Wait, How do you throw a big old, a, a, just a shrimp without no weight on it? You just do it. You just do it. Yeah. I, I loop cast. I put about four foot of string off the end of my rod. And I can I can outcast most people with spin cast. So I, look, one thing good, this wind's kind of laying down a couple times. You're going to have live shrimp. You're going to have it in Delacro. You're going to have it in Hopedale. You're going to have it in Grand Isle. Let me tell you something. Makes fishing really easy when you got some good, you know, them trip hopping around, that works. I'm sure right. Chris has got them down there at Fusho. All right, let me tell you this now. Cocodry area, there's a bit of fish being caught in them now, caught around, around the islands right now, but they still catching them inshore. They haven't all, all moved on the coast. They're point, point of shame. Stephen Arsenault, he had on Channel Cordae and Shannon Cordae, he was and didn't catch but one redfish, but look how pretty he was. The boy caught his first red, he got a smile on his face. In Leeville, Perry Yusey, and he was fishing back of Bayou Blue. Live Kakaho Minnows, a lot of fish are being caught from over there. Live Kakaho Minnows, still one of the better baits you can use right now, especially for redfish. Uh, Lake Catherine, Island Marina, Miss Angie, they had the anchor management, uh, the junior redfish out of Island Marina. Look, let me tell you what, Shoo Shoo Lewis and them were there, some of the people with the hottest bait, him some pictures. Uh, uh, the, the girls, partners, and boy twins, and young kids fishing with a hold up, and they did real good. The Island Marina, I want to thank Miss Angie because she always sent us a good report, and uh, I'm sure it's going to break loose in all those areas, and we'll know it. 
And, and for, that's all I got right now. Hey, I think we had enough. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I'm Chef Katie. This is Paradise, Louisiana. This is Easter weekend. Hey, I'm going to tell you, you may not agree with me, but my heart's in this because you know what? He's alive. Jesus is alive, and I'm excited about it. Thank you all for tuning in. That's my plug for the week. And my plug for the week. Y'all keep looking for our good friend, Lindsay, because she's be back. She's under doing a big she got a couple big projects right now, but she, what she's doing mostly, she's hunting for some good video. Her and her husband are out fishing, and as uh, soon as she catches, and KD and I are going to make sure she catches, because we're going to take her in the boat with us, and we're going to start catching she's, some fish. She, she's one serious attorney, okay? So you got to You're going to be watching Paradise, Louisiana, for the next few months. You better believe she's going to be back. Happy Easter to you. Tell you what. It's all, it's a lot more than about the Easter Bunny and Easter Eggs. I'm going to tell hey, you I'll tell you where I'm at. We love you. We'll see you next week. Paradise, Louisiana is presented by Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Pods, moving and storage, solved. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament.